everyone, I am dressed like it is springtime. It is wishful thinking, but before you know it, spring break for many of us is right around the corner. And for those of you that are thinking about traveling, I decided to compile some of my favorite travel accessory type things and a few tips into one video. I've done a bunch of travel videos in the past, um, how to pack, what's in my carry-on, all that stuff. I'll put that in a playlist and I'll put that playlist link below and it may pop up somewhere in here. But let's talk about what is right in front of me. And one thing that is not in front of me because my children have it and took it to school with them. Okay, I'm just gonna start picking up stuff in no particular order. Let's talk about a purse. So for me, <laughs> picking what purse I'm going to take on a trip is a major thing. Is it gonna match with everything? Is it gonna be big enough? Is it gonna be small enough? Blah, blah, blah. So you know my love for Gigi New York. This should not be a surprise. Well, they came out with a new tote bag that has replaced my beloved Jessica tote as my favorite Gigi New York tote. This is the Charlotte. Here she is. She will look very familiar. She is slightly more boxy in shape than the Jessica. She's a little, tiny bit more square and less going out this way rectangularly. Has a larger outside pocket than the Jessica. Um, it has a two texture thing. So it's got the like fake snake lizard it's embossed leather. It's all leather. This is not a reptile though. Um, if it was, it would be way out of my price point. This is more of the embossed kind of lizard. And then this is the pebbled grain on the side. And um, the other difference is that instead of the thin straps that the Jessica has, this has a kind of a rolled um, wider strap. And of course the key element here is it has a zipper. So your stuff will not fall out when you shove it on the ground underneath the chair in front of you on the airplane and your pilot makes a sudden stop on the runway like our pilot did on our last trip and everyone's stuff went flying, my stuff stayed intact in the purse. So I love that particular purse. It's new for spring and I had a hard time picking my color, but I ordered the beige because it's just gonna go with everything and that's kind of what you need. Okay, speaking of that, something that I switch out every time I travel, I don't think this exact color is still available, but this is a Kate Spade wallet. How cute, right? The pink glitter. But um, what I like about it is it is a full-size wallet. So you have your, um, you know, you can put your ID in here. It's easy to flash it to the ticket guy, the, the um, inspection TSA guy. It has a few card slots, which is handy. But it, what I also like is it unfolds fully and you can put your money. Do I have any money in there? No, but I still have a card. Oh man, it's a Starbucks rewards card that I didn't use. Oh well. Um, <laughs> You can get your bills in there and it folds really tiny, even has room for a little bit of change. I like that. I don't, I don't want to have to worry about not having all my necessities in my wallet. So this is a perfect size. Let's stick with the bag theme. Um, this is my toiletry bag. You can hear it's kind of crunchy. This is a Vera Bradley bag. I actually got this as a birthday present and I love the bright print, but what I really love about it is that it's fully lined on the inside with plastic. So if any of these things should leak, it's not gonna be disastrous to the rest of the stuff that I have packed. And as you can see, I'm not gonna go through this, but I do keep it packed with the stuff that I take on every trip. Like, I'll just show you this. Tiny little version of Bioderma. Love. Little thing of cotton pads and so forth. Like um, my discovery kit from uh, <coughs> Colleen Rothschild, my travel size stuff. Just keep, I just keep it, it's ready to go. So when I do go on a trip, I don't have to think about what toiletries to pack. Sticking with toiletry type things, I always travel with my flat iron. Flat iron's not that hard to pack. It's long, it's thin, it's whatever. But the other thing that I never pack but desperately miss when I go on vacation is my hair dryer. My hair, there it's not overly thick, but there's a lot of it. It takes a long time to dry unless I'm using my T3. I recently got this sent to me. Thank you, T3. This is the teeny tiny version of their... Um, Hair dryer, it, it folds up actually. Let me take it apart for you. There, see, folds up teeny tiny and is easily stuck in your luggage. So, and it's the same power as the big guys. It's just really tiny and ultra light and all that good stuff. So I adore it and it is pretty. It has the rose gold metal, which is really not necessary, but it's always nice to have pretty things. Continuing with beauty. This is no stranger to the channel. It is well loved and a little bit beat up, but this is the Lug Canoe Brush Holder. I love this guy because it unzips. I can stick all my brushes. I don't stick them all in the slots here. I usually just throw them all in there. 
zip it up, but when I get to the hotel, I can just, this stands up right on the counter in the bathroom or at the desk where I'm doing my, wherever I'm doing my makeup, this thing just stands up and it's like I have a little brush holder wherever I go. Love this thing. I know there are other ones out there, but this has been really sturdy and probably should be washed. I also like that it has a little hook if you wanted to hang it on a hook in the bathroom and make some more space when you're not using it. Here's something that definitely needs to be washed, but I use this so much. I found this in the um, Isle of Doom, as we like to call it at Sephora when I was checking out. And this is a beauty on the fly. I think they have some deal where you get it, you buy this and you can fill it with three products or something. I didn't do that, I just bought the bag. This is um, TSA approved for all of your liquids. And I um, never pack my makeup. So all of my liquids like foundation, concealers, I put my mascara in, any lip gloss. I'm not sure if lip gloss is TSA approved or not. So I always just stick it in here. When in doubt, just put it in. Eye drops, whatever. I've never filled this all the way up. There's always room and you could just, you know, take a little cloth and wipe this out or throw it in your dishwasher or something. But I love this thing. It is of all the TSA approved bags for liquids. This is, this is the one I've been using for well over a year now. Okay, you've seen these before. These are the packet cubes. Um, I have a set of this. I think that I have a couple that are even smaller than this. These I use for kind of my smaller size items, my external um, batteries, chargers, phone cables, all the charger cords, you know, your iPad charger, your phone charger, all that good stuff. I keep them all tidy in here in one spot so they don't go flying all over the bag and I know where to look for them. But I also have the big ones and these came in handy. Here's, here's, a, here's a big one. This is like for a um, shirt or something. I also have this big guy here. This is for more like dress shirts, bigger, bulkier items. Um, and then my favorite part, I'm such a geek, but I love that this set came with this it, like folding board that shows you how to fold things because I hate folding and I don't, my, one of my first jobs was at Old Navy as a kid and you had to refold everything at the closing of the store every night and it's very precise and I stunk at it, but I love that they give you a board to make it perfect. So I love this. It came in handy on our most recent trip because Jake and I shared a suitcase so I just put all of his stuff in one cube. I put all my stuff in another cube. And when we got to the hotel, we each took our cubes and put them in our respective drawers. And it was very easy to unpack. Um, this I did a whole video on. It's in the playlist. This is my new favorite carry-on. This is a Bagolini. I don't know the exact name. I love this so much that I bought one for Michael too. And they come in a bunch of colors. His is all black. It's a little more masculine. But um, I've done a whole thing on this thing. I love this. It has a telescoping handle. It has the sleeve on the back so you can slide it over your luggage. It has the wheels. It's, you can keep a lot in it. There are a couple things in here that I wanted to show you that I never leave home without when I travel. So a couple of items that I never travel without, I should say. One is a teeny tiny little umbrella, as flat as you can find. I think I got this guy at Target. They have a great little travel section, by the way, in their accessories department. You just don't know when it's gonna rain and you don't want a big, huge umbrella. And then uh, this guy is in hand, comes very much in handy. Even if you're traveling by yourself, you never know if hotels are gonna have enough outlets available in a convenient place to charge all your gear. These days we all have about five things that need to be charged. And if you're traveling with a family of four, then there's about 20 items. So having a power cord, a strip outlet is very helpful. Even at the airport, um, if there's only one charge, you know, one outlet available, I can plug this in and then we have, you know, enough room for almost everybody. The other thing that I wanted to mention that's not in here is an extension cord. Again, if you're at the airport and you need to charge up your phone, but the outlet's over there and your seat's over here, you just get as long of an extension. I think ours is 10 feet. Um, I don't know where it went. It's probably upstairs in one of the kids' rooms, but I always have a strip outlet and an extension cord handy. Um, I most recently used the extension cord when we went to visit Alabama. Um, the outlet that uh, I needed to plug my stuff in was on the other side of the bed, and I like to plug my iPad in at night while I'm reading. So just ran that extension cord and we were good to go. One thing talking about electronics that's not here because I think, I don't wanna throw them under the bus, but I think Jake, it, Jake took it to school with him, is my favorite um, external charger. It's a little heavy. It's been on here before. It's about so big. I believe it's called a Jackery. And what I like about it is it's powerful enough to charge two phones at the same time 
or a phone or an iPad. I live with my iPad, it has all my books on there, that's what I use to read when I travel, and the battery does drain, so that uh, charger that's strong enough to charge an iPad is key. Most of those little portable chargers are good for a phone, but certainly not for an iPad, so that's huge. My last favorite thing for electronics, I've talked about this a lot, it's been one of my favorite things. Unfortunately, it was just on sale, the sale's over. This is my uh, favorite headphones, and these are the Friends headphones. Um, I got mine through Bobble Bar. They're available in a couple of spots, but um, you know, and they're great even if you don't plug them in. If you don't want to talk to the guy next to you on the plane, just pop them on and sorry, I can't hear you. Sorry. So there is that. And then my last tip, some of you may think this is crazy, but for me, when I travel, I have a hard time sleeping. Um, it's just a new bed, it's a new whatever, it's just not my thing, and I just can't fall asleep. So I bring a little something from home to help me sleep better, and no, it is not a teddy bear. Um, I did this when we went to Scotland, and unfortunately I left it in the hotel, so I ordered more. These are the satin, silk-type, satiny pillow sheet pillowcases that I got recently from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, they're now available at Nordstrom, and... You know, they don't have to be this fancy, but bringing your like already familiar broken in pillowcase, oh, it just, it's so much easier to fall asleep. You know, sometimes those hotel linens are really scratchy and they're rough on your face and it just makes falling asleep that much more difficult. And let's face it, when you're traveling, you're usually there to be there for something specific or you really want to enjoy yourself and that means you need a good night's sleep. So I highly recommend bringing your pillowcase from home. It's nuts. Just don't forget to pack it back in your suitcase when you're done. So those are some of my favorite travel items, I'd say, accessories and a couple little tips in there to help you as you're planning your spring vacation or whenever you're watching this, wherever you're going on holiday. I'd love to hear back from all of you. If you have some great suggestions and travel tips that you'd like to share with all of us, so don't hesitate, leave those in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, I am talking about a brand that you should be familiar with from all of my skincare videos the last few months and that is Peter Thomas Roth. You know I'm a huge fan of their pumpkin enzyme mask.